Here is a video close-up of RoboCar recapping. This started life as a $10 Walmart RC car, and I removed the body as well as a small plastic, black plastic cover on the top of the PCB here. If you look closely at the PCB down there, this X-Acto knife is pointing to a trace that I cut. I used an X-Acto knife just like this. Just basically scratch through that trace there above C30. That disconnects the radio, saves current. Now here are the two black rectangular H bridges you see right there. Um, and let's see, in this orientation right here, uh, to the middle two pins on top, I soldered a pair of 220 ohm resistors. There's two there and two over there. Then ran wires, series wires up here to our there's the pickaxe mounted in a familiar 170 hole breadboard along with the support components for decoupling capacitors and the download circuit. Download the PC uh, USB plugs into the breadboard right over here. So four wires, four outputs on pins C0, 1, and 2, and 4 drive the H bridges plus power connections. We're, we're using the three AA batteries which power the car to power everything. The car now, the pickaxe, as well as our front sensor. Front sensor, if it'll come into focus. Okay, a $2 sensor, 555. Timer on board, sends pulses to this LED uh, and looks for a reflection through this receiver there. So uh, as I recall, I think this first pot here, just crank that fully clockwise. And this one here increases sensitivity counterclockwise. I crank that pretty much all the way counterclockwise. Um, so the output from that one gets feed, fed into input only pin C3 back there. So it didn't make any modifications to the drive motors. Inside here is the uh, gear train which drives the rear wheels and up front, very unsophisticated slam steering there. That's the DC motor which slams one way to tweak the front wheels left or right. Underneath there is a, a, a small adjustment which allows you to tweak the steering left or right to make it go more or less straight in the uh, neutral position. So that's it. That was a fun project and hopefully you may consider building a robo car of your own.